In this section, I'm going to be introducing you to the idea of Zoom Text Screen Magnifier. In this case, within the Fusion, the Zoom Text Fusion product, which is a combination of Zoom Text Magnifier with the JAWS screen reading program. So I'm just looking here at a computer screen, unmagnified. I've got uh, Zoom, Text mag uh, Zoom Text Fusion running at the moment. Um, but with only one times magnification here. One, so can increase the zoom level button. So to increase the magnification, I could just use the mouse pointer increase and zoom level button. click on the... Fusion of 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1 1.8, zoom level button. And now you'll see bin, list title, that... Uh, you'll also hear it speaking in the background. That's the, uh, the Fusion Jaws speaking in the background there. But the screen is now magnified 1.8 times, and we can, of course, go larger than that. I'm actually going to use the keyboard to do this now rather than the mouse. I'm going to press the caps lock key with the up arrow. Caps lock is the uh, is the zoom text key, and the up arrow is to indicate that we're increasing the magnification. 2, 2.25, 2.5, 2.75. And here we are at 2.75, and as we go up to, say, 3, three now we're seeing just one ninth of the whole screen because we're at a three times magnification. So if you imagine the screen divided into like a sections, uh, there would be nine rectangles that make up the entire screen. We're seeing just one ninth of that when we're at three times magnification. This is the issue for people that use screen magnification. They can't perceive the whole screen at once. They have to either slide their mouse pointer, which I'm going to do now, to a edge of the magnified screen which will then scroll under their eyes for them like this. Start button. I can slide across the screen using my mouse pointer. I can also Contact control the computer start, 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 just start, by start. using the keyboard. So for example, if I press the start button on the computer keyboard, search box edit. I can type W, w O, o R, R D. D Microsoft Word 2010 Desktop App Microsoft Word 2010 is, Desktop App. You'll notice there's a focus rectangle around the the menu item, and as my as I use my um, enter enter key, we'll Cancel be button. magnifying like this and uh, magnifying Microsoft Word, which will appear in a moment. Here it is, it was already Microsoft. running. Cancel button. The speech aspect can be turned off. You can Microsoft actually have document. it not speaking or have it through earbuds or whatever. And you could just be using the magnification. But I'm going to just type now. O space T A E R E space. And you may be thinking, well, of course, I could have just increased the font size in Word to achieve that effect. The real benefit is not so much in the typing, it's in the ribbons at the top. So here now, these ribbons are all magnified Front, group. and spoken. So as I point Underline, to button. a particular Italic, control, button, not checked. the jaws will be speaking the, uh, with the speech, uh, reinforcing the meaning of the button. We can continue to magnify. 3.4, 4.5, 6. So that we can actually see, group, copy, actually button, see this as Cold well. Group, font, group, five, four point four, three point four, three, two point two point five. The there are some enhancements that ZoomText can apply. For example, here I've got a, a couple of blue wedges that are pointing to where the typing cursor is. This can help locate the typing cursor. Similarly, I can adjust. Fusion professional. I Fusion. can adjust the mouse pointer as well. Screen enhancements. Pointer split button checked. Menu. Screen checked sub menu. H1. Your pointer split button checked. For example, I could have a giant green cursor. Reader. Text. Menu. Screen checked sub menu. H2. Red with circle. 2. 5. Circle when moving. Leaving I can menu. have some crosshairs. Button. Not checked. Cross, pointer. Crosshairs pointer. Pointer. Button. around the pointer. And I can menu. adjust screen these schemes as well. 5. So at the menu. moment, I've now put a little circular uh, locator around the cursor. Screen enhancements. This is group. especially Magnifier. useful Tablet for Tablet. people with limited group. field of view. Uh, they detect in their peripheral vision the motion of the circle, and that helps them locate. Similarly, with some of the crosshair point, uh, 
pointers. Menu. Scheme checks on menu. H. One. Leaving menus. For example, this one here, we have some uh, crosshairs that point, uh, direct the attention to the mouse pointer. That's very, very useful for people with RP or other forms of tunnel vision. They look for a line, they, they follow the red line and, and they find the, uh, the mouse pointer. Of course, we would encourage people with very limited vision, especially at larger magnifications, to be using the keyboard more for controlling the computer and the mouse less. But this is the, uh, the future professional title bar program incorporating some options for pointer, cursor, split button, cursor split button, and button, of course button, to object. adjust the background of the, the screen. Co color so for example I can very easily button, reverse object. the background of the screen to be black or some other color and this is particularly useful for people who are glare sensitive which very commonly occurs for people with low vision conditions. It's also possible using these windows features to have extended desktop with two monitors, perhaps a laptop and a secondary monitor, to stretch across the two monitors or to have one magnified and one unmagnified and so on. So these are some of the magnification features in, in the Zoom text and in another section we'll be talking more about the speech advanced speech features that you can use with the JAWS program.